Now that we have the hardware assembled, we can start the installation of the software. The first thing we need to do is download the disk image for the Raspberry Pi. We will be downloading the Raspbian operating system from the Raspberry Pi website. Here we have two options, Jesse with Pixel and Jesse Lite. Select the Raspbian Jesse with Pixel as we need the image which includes the graphical user interface. While this is downloading, download WinDisk32 Imager from the SourceForge website. Once it has downloaded, install WinDisk32 Imager. Next, we will format the SD card which we will be using, ensuring the SD card is 8GB or larger, and select FAT or FAT32. Once the Raspbian image is downloaded, unzip the image. Now start WinDisk32 Imager Select the image file, ensure that your SD card is selected as it will overwrite anything else on the drive and select write. You can now remove the SD card and install it into your Raspberry Pi and power on the Raspberry Pi. Once the Raspberry Pi has booted, we will install the software on the Raspberry Pi. The first thing we need to do is download the ZLK38AVS from GitHub. To do this, open up a terminal and run the command git clone https colon slash slash github.com micro semi voice processing slash zlk 38 avs once it is downloaded cd into the downloaded directory zlk 38 avs and run make all while the make is running since it can take up to 30 minutes we'll now create our amazon developers account to create your amazon developers account go to the amazon developers website developer.amazon.com slash Alexa Voice Services and on the top right click sign in. Since we are creating a new customer account select new customer account and enter your email address and sign in. And now fill out your name and password. And fill out the registration form. and accept the agreement. For payments, since this is a demonstration, select No for both entries. Now select Alexa on the top bar and select Alexa Voice Services. Now we need to add our product so select register a product on the right hand side and select device. Enter your device ID, 
type, and name. These can be any names you would like. Now we need to create a new security profile. Select Create a New Profile. Select any name you'd like for the security profile name and description. The information shown on this screen will be used later during the registration of your device when installing the Amazon AVS code on the Raspberry Pi. Now we need to go to Web Settings and select Edit, add another allowed origin, enter https colon slash slash localhost colon 3000, and add another allowed return URL. This time enter https colon slash slash localhost colon 3000 slash auth response, and select next. Now we need to fill out the device details. Select the device category. For this demonstration, we've selected Other. Fill out the device description and select No for the two options. We have now completed creating our Amazon Developers account and can return to our Raspberry Pi software installation. The installation will take longer than this video is showing, so you will probably need to wait for this next step. When you are prompted, enter the device ID you entered during the creation of your Amazon Developers account. And then the client ID. and then the secret ID from the same web page. And agree to the terms. And yes, we have a developer's account. And confirm the information above is correct. And select the correct locale for your location. Either option is valid for the output audio as the make file will update this later. And yes, we want to enable the Alexa wake word. The make file will now install the Amazon Java client. Once the installation is complete, we will reboot our Raspberry Pi. The command to reboot is sudo reboot. Now that we have rebooted the Raspberry Pi, we can test Alexa. Open a window and change in to the ZLK38 AVS directory. And now we simply need to run make Alexa underscore exec. This will bring up three windows which run the three different commands which are required to get Alexa up and running. and select Yes to open up the browser so we can log in. It takes a bit of time for the browser to open up. When the browser opens up, click Show Advanced and proceed to localhost unsafe. Log in with the developer's account which we created earlier. Once the web browser says the tokens are ready, you can close the web browser and click OK. We are now ready to test. But first, ensure that your speaker is turned on and the volume is all the way up. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 9.49 a.m. And that is the end of us testing whether Alexa works correctly. 
Thank you for watching this video on getting started with the ZLK 38AVS Evaluation Kit.